these plastics may be effective in chasing birds of the maize fields, but are completely unusable when it comes to one of the most devastating enemies of any farmer, the armyworms. For farmers like 71-year-old King Ford Mokonta, their fields are not doing well, but they have refused to give up on the crop, knowing it is their source of survival. <laughs> They were giving us one bottle to be shared among three farmers, but despite spraying in my field, the armyworms are still attacking my maize. Some farmers have even resorted to applying sand on the maize stalks as a way to control the pests. Livingston District Cooperative Union Chairperson Winnick Mapanza has urged those affected to quickly visit the office of the District Agriculture Coordinating Officer. And let me appeal to the farmers to say, let them not just sit idle, let them quickly run to Duckworth's office and get the chemicals so that they can start spraying these, these worms. The government has already provided this and it's, it's, you are not paying anything, it's a matter of going there, you tell them where your field is and then they'll give you the chemicals and you start spraying. Mr. Mapanza has encouraged farmers to be alert. You discover that the farmers have done the weeding, but there's more or less like irregular visits to see what is happening, taking place in their fields. So it, we are encouraging the farmers to make sure that let them have the time, yeah, or more often, twice in a week at least, you see what is happening in your field. Because otherwise you'll be seated home, your crop will be destroyed. Meanwhile, some farmers have resorted to applying sand on the maize stalks in a bid to stop army worms from attacking their maize. Mombeha Mobola, ZNBC News, Livingstone. Remember to hit the like button, place a comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.